Reveal preview. I'm not honest. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. It's been more than 10 years since American McGee's Alice hit PCs, a cult classic that has sold more than a million copies. Alice is now back again, and on consoles this time around, in Alice Madness Returns. The story picks up 10 years after the events of the first game. You don't need to have played the first game to enjoy this one, however. But those who have will see the return of familiar characters and locations expressed in this beautifully crafted environment. Like its predecessor, Alice is an action game with platforming elements. The story is like a murder mystery, where Alice is trying to piece together her tragic past where her parents and sister died in a fire 10 years ago. Wonderland used to be a place where she could find comfort, but it is obviously distorted, and it is all in her mind. The more twisted Wonderland gets, the more disturbed Alice becomes. She'll travel back and forth between London and Wonderland several times throughout the game, but as you go on, you'll collect memories which will help jog her repressed memories. In Wonderland, though, Alice transforms into an idealized version of herself, as opposed to the poor orphan that resides in London. Here, she's armed with her signature Vorpal Blade, which works well for quick melee strikes. She also has access to a pepper grinder, teapot cannon, and hobby horse. The pepper grinder is a fast-firing ranged weapon, whereas the teapot is a more powerful cannon that lobs deadly globs of explosive tea. The hobby horse is Alice's other option when it comes to close-ranged attacks. It's slow and heavy, but it will deal crushing blows to anything that comes too close. These options are important, especially when most creatures require that you exploit their weakness. Whether it's taking down their shield first or hitting a weak spot, it's going to take a little thinking to get you through the game. Alice has the ability to triple jump and glide through the air, making it a breeze to float from one platform to the next. In certain areas, she may need to call upon her ability to shrink, which not only allows her to get into tight spaces, but she can also see platforms that would otherwise be invisible, as well as drawings left behind by the insane children. And it goes without saying that the art direction in this game is simply stunning. Everything from Alice's dress, to the enemies, to Victorian London, and of course, Wonderland, is crafted with so much detail it's impossible not to pause and take in what's around you. Alice Madness Returns will come to the PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 on June 14th. For more details, head on over to GameSpot.com.